13. Open your mouth. Spread your legs. Clear. What up, you already know. Welcome back to Dog in the Yard with your boy Pistol. And today we got Young in the building. Young did 12 years. He had a shootout with, with the police in Brooklyn with the blue and whites and, de and detectives. Um, you know, he's been getting in trouble since at the adolescent age, you know, going to Rikers Island, doing a year for a gun charge and coming home and escalating it to a shootout with the cops. So with that all being said, I don't want to run down the whole story. Let me get right to it. You already know, let's welcome Young into the motherfucking dog in the yard. Let's get it. When you're in that Tampa Bay area, make sure you reach out to my boy Gus Torres, man. If you want anything that has to do with real estate, man, make sure you hit him up. You get the lowest prices and the finest houses, man. Trust me when I tell you. But don't forget to mention my name. You already know that Pistol P to get you that early discount. And that's my brother, man, Gus Torres. You already know, out in the Tampa Bay area. Make sure you hit him up, man. Sell, buy, invest, all that. Make sure you hit him up, man, because he focused with that out there. Tampa Bay, you already know, it's your boy Pistol, man. Get at me. What up, what up, what up? You already know, it's your boy Pistol Pete. Welcome back to that dog in the yard. Today we got Young. Straight out of Brooklyn, East New York. What up, yeah, young? Yeah, what's good? What's good, man? Welcome to the show. What's good, bro? Yeah, thanks for having me, man. What's oh, well, all good. All likewise, man. What's good with you? How you been, man? Good, good. Everything good, man. Okay, okay. How long you been home? I've been home about almost 10. Nine and change. Okay, nine and a half. Nine and a half. Okay. Nine and a half. Let's give it to him. That's what's up. That's what we want to hear. We want to hear that you're home and all yeah, that. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Sure. Uh. We're going to get into a little bit about your little history, you know, as far as you was obviously from Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. You was born in Brooklyn? Born and raised, yeah. Born and raised in Brooklyn. Yeah, Talk yeah. a little bit about your siblings and shit, you know, right. moms. You had your moms, your dad in your life yeah, and all that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had all that. I had, um, got two siblings, um, two from mom and pop and then two other ones. Okay. And then, um, you know, <clears throat> I had both of them until, let's say... 10. And mm -hmm. at 10 years old, you know. Everybody split up. They split up, you know what I mean? And it was just. And, and did, did, that, did, did that kind of like affect you in any kind of way, you think? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. That's where, you know, that, it took that. Yeah, it took that different turn. Yeah, that yeah. came. And how that, quickly I mean, after. You was what? How old you was? I was about 10. You was 10 years old? Yeah, about 10. And yeah. you was just confused about the whole shit. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah, and from that point, did you start to get like what, get in trouble, or like how 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 you managed to start, you know, getting yourself caught up, you know? Was uh, it because you was upset about that, or you or you just like? Nah, I think it was more for structure. You know what I'm saying? When you ain't got pops there on your case, mm -hmm. and that fucking how you call it, like that 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 blanket of security is just like. Because mm. the pops there is just like a whole different vibe. It's like, you know, I ain't going to talk crazy to him. You know what I'm saying? Now you don't got that guidance so that structure. Yo, what you doing? So it's like, you know. You was more slack, more loose. More loose, right? Yeah, because Ma yeah. Duke is not going to be on you like your dad. Yeah, she ain't going to be, you know what I mean? Like, right, right. It's a different level of respect that you're giving each parent. So right. it's like, all right. Okay. He ain't there. It's like, get loose time. So at what age you started, like, you know, getting yourself in problems and stuff like that? You know, how your parents, you know, as far as your moms that you was living with, how she was dealing with that. Was it was it a big struggle? Or, you know, like, how was that? Yeah, I mean, um, it came at levels. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it started out with low miscellaneous stuff, and then you just progressively getting more and more defiant. You know, it's like, I ain't trying to hear what you're saying, man. You know what I'm saying? Boom, I'm going to do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, it's like, it, it, it's, it's non-harmful. When you little, but as it starts, as you start growing up, now you become more and more rebellious. So it's like, you know what I mean? By the time I hit like high school, is when it was just like, 
you know, on that road to like that uncontrollableness. Like, uh, he's getting nobody out. can't really tell you. Yeah, nothing. he's getting out of hand. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, how's your how your moms was dealing with that? I mean, um, it was a, it was a, it was a process. It was a struggle. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, I was still in contact with Pop Duke, but it was just like you know, should make that attempt. Like, yo, um, I'm gonna call your pops, and you know, reach out to him, but you know. It's like out of sight, out of mind. He's not there like he's supposed he's to be. He's not really there. on it like yeah, that. Yeah, he's not on it. So it's like, all right. So you was loose. So, you know, go back to basically. being loose here, yeah, basically. Yeah. For the most part. Wow. So so at, at what age uh, you, you wind up, you know, getting locked up, you know, in trouble and stuff like that? What That's age you right actually, on. like, went in? So probably around um, high school time, like 16, around there. What was the occasion? What, 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 what happened? What, what caused uh -huh. you to go to jail? Well, it was different times, so I'm trying to I'm trying to draw it up right now because it's like miscellaneous stuff, little. So it was little so whatever it was, it was it was like little bullshit. Yeah, little bullshit. Okay, little, so you know when mean? when you when you really got in trouble, like you know that you went, you know obviously you went to what to Rikers Island. Yeah. Yeah, like when when that yeah. moment came. Um. Let's say. The first, besides the miscellaneous, the first time was like a hammer charge for him. So it was a hammer charge. Um, a hammer charge? For yeah. those that don't know, it was a hammer, it was a gun. Yeah. Gun I mean, charge. For the audience and shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so you got caught with a gun? Yeah. What, how old you were? Um, about 17. About 17, 17 years old. Pretty yeah. young. Yeah, still young, yeah. And, and so, uh, what, what, I mean, what transpired? You got caught in a gun? Like, what um, happened? That was like, you know, having it on you and um, uh, back, you know, back at that time, it was like the 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 patent frisk that they just recently enforced now, that shit was non-existent. They was running down on you and it was like, you know. No matter what. No matter what. Like, yo, you got that look. Like, it was just like, yo, come here. And I took off. Boom. And, um, you know, they chased me or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And, uh. Snatch me up, had the hammer, and I would die. You know what I'm saying? And then you, you got caught with the gun. Yeah, right. And um, right. um, you were 17 years old. Yeah, about 17. Uh, uh, yeah. Did they call your moms? I mean, but you went to the station house. What nah, was, what yeah, was the process? Yeah, that just on some straight. Straight like, locked you up. Yeah, straight locked me up. That's it. You know. So, so they you went to court. Went to court and all that. Boom, and they um, you know, at that time they gave me a bullet. So, you know, okay, we, before we jump into the yeah, yeah, yeah. so, so you got caught, you, you went through the system. Right. Did you come back out or you wound up staying on Rikers Island? Went to Rikers Island from there. Um, yeah, went to Rikers went Island. Went to Rikers Island. How was that feeling? First time Rikers Island, 17 years old, going over that bridge. You know, how was your feelings? Were you nervous? You know, were you worried about, you know, what to expect? Like, how you felt about it? Yeah, I mean, the first time you definitely, you know, I mean, for me anyway, it was definitely that, that feeling of nerve, the unknown. The unknown was always, you know, that feeling of nervousness and what's going on. And then you hear about, you know, these stories and that stories. And then in the back of your mind too, you know, you know, you're ripping and running a little bit. So it's like, all right, well, you know, I wonder who I might run into. Mm. That's a familiar face up there too. You know what I'm saying? So, right. you know, all of those different things is going on. You know what I'm saying? All kind of different feelings and shit. Yeah, yeah, all type of different shit. Right. So when you actually got on a bus, right? And, and, and you actually got there to Rikers Island. Yeah. And um, and they took you to the, I guess to the, uh, to the to the what, the, what is it the, the, the reception? The, the reception. Yeah. yeah. Reception. How, how was that for you? I mean, um, uh, man, it's way back too. So let me see. So reception, um, was basically like, yo, this shit is overrated. Mm. <laughs> yo, this shit. This shit is sweet as a motherfucker, mm. man. You know what I'm saying? Boy, boy, that's what it's about. But then that's reception. Mm. Then, you know, you go to the housing unit, it's like, oh, okay, it's a little bit more turned up now. Yeah, it became serious. <laughs> it became a little more serious. You know what I'm yeah, so how was that for you? Um, That was like, you know, it was a little yeah. bit more serious. Yeah, like, coming you know to the unit, yeah. you got a bunch of dudes looking at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so, how, you know, how was that feeling? You know what I mean? You didn't know that, okay. Yeah, yeah, I see yeah. What's, you know. And pretty much, um, I come up on the five percent so. Okay. It was like, you know, that that pretty much was like the thing. Uh, yo, Peace, where God. you from? First, where you from? Yeah. Then it's like, yo, you know, 
you God body, you blood, you Muslim, you crab, what like mm. what you claiming? I'm God body. Oh, all right, there's, there's some gods in here. All right, peace, God, bro. And you go through that whole spell. Right. You know what I'm saying? See who's who, feel what's what, and you know, it is what it is. And then, you know, um, motherfuckers just try to see who you are, who you know, in the environment. Um, you know what I mean? And, and feel your temperature. All right, you know, is this dude lockout worthy? Is you know, what, what he going to be? House gang, suicide? Like, what, what's yeah. his position? Is he coming for the like, phone? Man? Is he coming for the jacks? Like, you know, what? What is it with him? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, it was pretty like just mellow, you know what I'm saying? For right. me, for me, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I come up under, you know, the um five percent. So it's like, yo, there's guards in there. They already had some shit established. So mm. it's like, all right, cool, you know. What would they take care of they, they own? Yeah, yeah, they take through. care of their own little care package, boom, okay. you good G, yo. You going back to fourth the court, boom, we got a couple of garments, boom, boom. We got the kitty over here, whatever you need. You know what I'm saying? Boom. You got soap, you got this. All right, cool. You know what I mean? Okay. So, okay. You know. So, and then, what happened? You got, you, you got, you, what happened with that case? Um, you got a gun possession. So, what happened? Yeah, with that, it was back and forth to court um, for a couple of months, maybe like like three months. And then, um, you know, the different trials and tribulations on Rikers, you know what I'm saying? Going to work at that time. Um, I had a lesson. It was God, body versus blood. Oh, what? so I got caught up in that war as an adolescent. You know what I'm saying? Wow, but, how how was that? Was that shit was yeah, that was that was like crazy. So um, uh, yeah, adolescent. So um, a lot of stabbing, a lot of you know people getting stabbed, cut. It was it was more cuttings in adolescence. It was more stabbings in adult. So um, at that time, let me see, um, three up, and three up, so boom, um, I get snuck up, right? Now mind you, it's God bodies in the house, but it's it's not that many as opposed to the homies, boom. So I get snuck up. So I'm like, yo, not opposed to the bloods. Right, as okay. opposed to the puzzle. So I like, just want to make it clear, you know, for yeah, the people yeah, that yeah. don't understand. Go ahead. I'm like, yo, fuck took my shit. Like, I'm flabbergasted. Like, I'm like, ran in my shit. I'm asking around. I'm like, so then somebody tell me, oh, you know, son took son, you know what I mean? He, oh, what? Oh, son did it. This nigga's in the barbershop now. Mm. So he come back from the barbershop. Now your shit empty. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> like, yo, that nigga so you his went mind. back and empty his shit out. I went back and empty his shit out. So the person that ran and snucked up and brought up your shit while right. you wasn't looking. Right. I ran the back of his shit. While he, his shit. While he was at work, you. Right. Give me all that. Mm. <laughs> Give me my shit and your shit. Okay. So then when he came back, we scrapped it out. Boom. Um, he came back. Yo. So you hit. Yo. God, nigga, God, me. <laughs> Super loud shit. That. Yeah, you know how I feel, nigga. Payback is a motherfucker. Mm. So, um, uh, yeah, I wound up getting him back. Then um, y'all wanna fight? We wound up fighting. Boom, we shook it out. Boom, boom, we shook out. Boom, and then um, in the midst of all that, you had the the um, squashed it. Boom, squashed it, and then um, uh, the war broke out. Boom, not too long after. So you figure it was a, it was like a process. It was, it was escalating it to was that. Escalating to that. Boom. So, um, you know, when it broke out, it spilled through the whole building. But when that shit broke out, the same dude, boom, wound up cutting me from behind. So I was like, oh, this bitch ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? So after boom. you fought him? Yeah, I fought him. We fought. I won. And we squashed it. And then, how long before he striked again? And it, that was like, um, I would say about. Like a good four months. Mm. And we still in the same housing unit. So it was a good, it was a good like sleeper. You mm. know what I'm saying? Which was a learning lesson for me mm. as a young kid. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? Like once we had that situation initially, it should have, you know what I'm saying? Like that was it. Like. You been on your, on your, on your P's and Q's. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, been on point. Know, well, so it was a so lesson. He, so the same guy four months later. Four months you. later, well. Four months. 
Cut you where? In the back? In the neck. Oh, wow. Yeah. So he cut yeah. you in the neck. Yeah. And then how was that? I mean, like, what, what, what transpired after he cut you? Like, I mean, I got um, popping on me. Where was No, we were still that shaking. Happened? That happened in the same house, in three uppers. So, um, so what wound up happening with that was, like I said, it was the war going on in the building. So when it spilled over to our house, you know, um, we shaking out. The whole house is rumbling. And um, I was rumbling with somebody else. Mm. I was already fighting somebody. And son came from behind, boom, mm. and caught me and shit. And as he did that, another five of center is like, oh, shit. Yo, G. Because he seen him, like, do it and back up. Mm. But he grabbed the, the fucking jack off the um off the wall. He took the phone off the wall and smacked him in the face. Bang. And floored him. So son was on the floor leaking. We both sitting in the fucking in front. He had to get stitches. I had to get stitches. You know, amongst other people and shit. Right. But that was like, you know, that first uh, 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 real encounter of mm. Rikers Island type shit. Or, and, and then what happened with the gun charge? Um, They gave me the bullet. So you so got they, a year in prison? Yeah, they gave me a year for that. So you was at uh, four building? Four building, yeah. For a year? Yeah. And turned to dope front of four buildings, so they sent me to, to the sixth six building. building. Right. Yeah. Okay. And how was how was that going from um you know getting sentenced and going to another to another facility? You know, it's actually, it was crazy for me personally, because I was adolescent. So um now it's like, yo, you know, that same feeling of right Island is coming all over again because now you're going to adult. Mm. Oh shit, yo. Yo, back up, you going to adults. Like, oh shit, I'm going to adults. Boom, boom. You know, it's the same kind of feeling, the unknown all over. The unknown, yeah, you're going the to unknown all environment. over again. And then I go to the um to the sixth building. And um, you know, for me looking back now, you know, um, cause we could build about shit all day. I'm just talking about like every day. Yeah, life. yeah. So I'm saying every but day. But when like, you yeah. look back, you be like, yo, hold up, man, yo. Certain shit was kind of like mm. weird and shit. But for me, when I went to the six, it was another like shocker. Cause mm. now you in the dose, but the six building was like homeowned out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, as an adolescent making that transition, and you're hearing stories about, let's say, up north, like, yo, they got the booty bag, got this and that. But then you go to the six building and it's like it's being run by, you know, homos. You're like, oh shit, like this shit is like a weird you environment. Was, like, you you was confused as fuck, huh? Yeah, you coming from adolescent with don't boom, and it's just like. You so know, you got there was a bunch of homos and gay people running there. shit. Like they was they was the ones that basically was like you know. All the the, the good positions that the inmates might have control over, was being ran and facilitated by homos. Mm. So it was like weird, you know. It was, it was a total shift. Total flip. A total flip. Total flip. So how you how you took that? I mean, how you dealt with that? Just, that was just like, you know, just a steady, a stay in your fucking surrounding with your, you know what I'm saying? Five stay percent in your lane. That's it, man. You know what I'm saying? They do that because it was a lot of mixy shit going on in that building. Like, all right, y'all stay over there and I'm good over here. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, mm. that was more like, oh, yeah, it's time to just do this time and get the fuck out of here because. So, this shit is great. So man. you got to the sixth building, yeah. no more altercations? Nah, no altercations. Oh, so you came home? Yeah, 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 came home. Yeah. And then uh, 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 did you, from that point, you went back, ever went back? I went back. Boom, okay. I went back. When, when, you, when so, you went back? I went back at um, 21, about 21. So, so you came home like 18, was home for like two years and went back? Yeah. Went back, boom, and um, so that one was um, with the police. Boom, mm. I, um, you know, I had hammer again, and um, you know, they tried the same uh, um strategy as they tried before, mm. but you know, you talking two years later, you talking a lot of things going on in the streets, and you know, I'm feeling like. Yeah, I'm not the same person. You, I'm not doing it like that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I got into the uh, uh, um, back and forth with them. 
because now I'm a little older, so I knew my rights were violated the first time. Mm. I feel like my rights is being violated now. So you stepping up for yourself. I'm stepping up for myself. And they like, you know, they ain't backing down, and I ain't backing down. Mm. So it's like, yo, listen, man, put your hands in the way. I'm not doing all that. So it got into a spat like that. Boom, we're going back and forth, back and forth, until the sergeant finally was like, because um, they pulled up beside me in a, um, a blue and white van. I was with two other people. And, um, you know, hops out and all that. And then finally the sergeant was like, listen, man, we're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. So, yeah, we're going to do it the hard way. And boom, we got into a big shootout in Crown Heights. So um, um, that right there, um, you know, led to the chase. They chased me, whatever. And um, the D's came. So you, got a, you, so you got into a shootout? I got into a shootout with them. Boom. With the police? With the police, the blue and white um, van. So it was about four of them in the van. So me against them four. Then... Um, you know, I kind of like backed them up. So, um, <clears throat> you know, they got the whole neighborhood is going crazy with the with the sirens and this and that. The, the backup is coming. Mm -mm. So, um, um, after that, I kind of like like they didn't really they knew what direction I was going, but they kept slowing down as the shootout progressed because I wasn't backing down. So mm. it's like you know. Um, then the D's came, where I finally had them, but I kind of like, I, I, I cornered myself, because I wasn't from that area of Brooklyn, so I was like, I really didn't know mm. how to maneuver, so right. I ran through an alley, and um, my intent was that I'll go this way, cut through the alley, and come back the same direction where the shootout started. Mm. But it worked like that, because when I was going down the alley, the D's was coming. To, Detectives. Right. They was going towards the um the towards the, the corner that mm -hmm. I was running towards initially before I hit the alley. So um when they spotted me, we get into a shootout in the alley. So um <clears throat> while I'm trying to get back out the alley now, the regular blue and white is catching up. Oh, mm -hmm. so they cornered me in the alley and then um I'm going at it with both of them, with the D's and the, the blue and white. And then um, ESU came. So ESU came, had a little shootout for, you know, a little minute. And then, you know, you start seeing the the, the line that I'm coming with the assault rifles and all now that. Now they're stepping the game up. They I was they like, yeah, that's gun. a wrap. I say that, that's a wrap. That's when, <laughs> they got know, me. They got me. They got me. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done. They're like, yo, throw that mm -hmm. down right now. Spread eagle, you know what I'm saying? Boom. So, you know, that's what happened. So they got you. Threw it down, got me, yeah. You know? Went to jail, back to Rikers Island. Back to Rikers Island. And then what? Back to Rikers Island. <laughs> now, now this time, you know, this is regular shit, man. Go to the island, but you're adult now. So, you know, mm -hmm. the, the adult wasn't as, um, as, as turn up as an adolescent. Everybody, you know, they had their little... They, they they own little space going, you mm. know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, whatever community you're involved with, it is what it is. It, shit is established, established, you know what I'm saying? Right. And boom, you know, you ride it out. And um, So how long you was on Rikers Island that time? Rikers Island that time was um, a couple months, probably like, like close to a year. Okay. Close to a year. And then what happened? With the going back and forth to court and then... Um, you know, they wasn't coming down in the offer, so I went up copping out, and I took um, I took twelve flat. Twelve years. Yeah, I took twelve years. Yeah, twelve flat, and then they sent me up top. Boom. So, I guess that's what they give you when you have a shootout with a cop. Twelve years, they give my. my they gave I, the same I, I, time. I know, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Twelve years shootout with the cop. They gave me twelve years. Yeah, they gave me twelve years. So they so they gave you twelve years. So yeah. you you went up now now you. So you was on the island for for almost a year before almost you went upstate. Yeah. So then you went upstate. How was that? Um. You know, how was your experience on that? Being a bus picking you up, right. taking you. Up, you know, where you went to to Elmira, downstate. Where you went? At? I went downstate. Okay. I went downstate. So it's like it was like the same feeling of you know. I'm not adolescent, mm -hmm. and you know you're going through that that whole process, and um, you know um, 
it's just you, you're an adult now. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Now you took, you copped out to 12 years. Right. Uh, what, 12, 12 flat? 12 flat, okay. right. Um, so on, on, on 12 flat, for those that don't know, because, I mean, I don't really know about too much about flat biz like that. Like right. When I went upstate, it was like, you know, three to nine. Split, right. Two to four. Right. Shit like that. Yeah. So it was just straight, now it was just straight. When they give you 12 flat, that's that's what you do. I mean. Well, well let's be, I mean, <laughs> to be clear on that. Yeah. Right? That's what, that's what a lot of brothers thought at the time. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But it was another trick that the system played on you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Because now a lot of individuals, when, when after they was, they did their time, now they reaching the close of their bid, you know, administration was coming to them, like, yo, you know, you got um, post-release now. And like, post-release, what's that? You took 12 flat, or you took whatever flat that you took, right? Yeah, well, that comes with supervision too. Oh, but if you would've told me that in the beginning, I wouldn't have took that. So, you know, it was a whole big oh, legal shit. issue that went on. For that, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. Oh, because they never mentioned. They never mentioned. They never that. mentioned supervised release after right, your 12 years right, flat. Right, right. So, you know, they started, they like, like, like right now they do that. But at that time, they wasn't telling you nothing. Mm. And you had a whole wave of brothers, you know what I'm saying, and females that went through the system that, um, that had no knowledge of that. So they were like, nah, it, it got challenged by a lot of people, myself mm. included, you know what I'm saying? So, right. You know. So, you did your twelve years. I mean, twelve. You went up top. What was all the penitentiaries you went to? Prisons. Um, your first one was downstate. Yeah, I, bounced, I bounced around, so I went went downstate. Um, Sing Sing, Clinton, Clinton Annex, um, upstate, Kasaki, Comstock, Auburn, um, Fishkill. And what like, you did with your time? Did you get in trouble? Um, I mean, did you you know have did, all your time was just. Pretty much, you know, you did your yeah, time and came home. I, I got in trouble. I definitely got in trouble, man. Um, I was in and out. I was in and out the box, depending on. Yeah. So, what was your one of your cages that you went to the box for? You know, like. Um. Well, Clinton, I, I um, I clapped somebody in Clinton. You what? I clapped somebody in Clinton. What you mean? Well, shot somebody, stabbed somebody. In oh, Clinton. you stabbed somebody. In yeah, Clinton. stabbed somebody in Clinton. So, um, from there. Clean as a penitentiary, guys. Just yeah. Just, uh, so from there, they sent me to um to upstate for two years. So they sent me to the box for two years behind that. Okay. Um. When I came out of upstate, they sent me to Comstock. Okay. Boom, they sent me to Comstock. How was that? And then Comstock was all right. It was all right. I mean, you know, every. Max facility got different pros and cons, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, in terms of, you know, the pros, it was a lot of things going on. They had good commissary. They had, you know, uh, um, they had trailers there. Mm. So, you know, um, it was a lot of good things going on okay. in that facility, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, then from there. Um, Did you program with the school? Like yeah. What you did with yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pretty much, you know, I, um, I always try to stay on the right, on the right path because I was married. I came up top married, and you know, you pretty much got to be out the way mm. in order to get those visits. You know what I'm saying? But um, you know, like even in Clinton, it was the same thing. But you know, I wound up catching the, the um stabbing over there. But when I came out, you know, you got to reprogram and find brothers that's you know in charge of different programs, mm-hmm. and then um. Uh, 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 you know, do those programs in mm-hmm. order so that you could keep that 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 trailer going. You know what I'm saying? So for the um for the conjugal visit, so okay. it's like you know. Um, so I did you ever seen one? Yeah. Did you did, did you did you do good to the point where you finally got one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Wait, Comstock. Um. Yeah, Comstock. And how was it? I, you know what I mean? You know. Cause, um, I, I, I mean, all I hear about it, but I never, I yeah, never, yeah, I never yeah. experienced it myself. Nah, so. it'd, be, it'd be a good feeling, man, you know? Good relief, I mean. That's yeah. a good relief, man. You know, and then it's like a little apartment, so it's just like, it's an escape from the reality at the moment, you know what I'm saying? And um, 
And you get to your your, your loved one to come. Yeah. And you spend like what a day, two like, days, like um, like three days, two nights, I, I believe. Yeah. So okay. this is if it starts on a Friday, it end on that Sunday. Okay. So like that. Um, yeah. So you know it was it was. So you was doing that. I was doing that. That was good. Yeah. Yeah, but it was like, you know, for me, it was like every time I got into, um, before I could get into a rhythm, it was like, boom, I'm, I'm, I'm back in the situation again. And then you lose the privilege and you got to try to retain it again. So it was just so that, Or every time you was trying to get back into to do a trailer, you get back in trouble. Get back in trouble. So, so how many yeah. times you went to a trailer then? Um, probably like, like four times. Maybe like four times through the whole bed. In 12 years? Yeah. Four to six. Probably between four and six, or maybe like once like once or twice in Clinton, and then boom. And then Comstock, same thing. But in Comstock, it wasn't that I got into trouble. It was um, a transfer. Oh, okay. So they transferred me. All oh, your classification changed, boom, and they transferred me to Kasaki, which I believe didn't have them. So it was like, you know. Um, How was that for you, not having them going to Kasagi? Uh, yeah, that was that was crazy. It was crazy. You know, that probably was like the most annoying prison that I went to, Kasagi, mm -hmm. because it was like, you know, it, it's, it, it, was, it was mainly for adolescents, mm -hmm. and now you got a bunch of grown men in there that they trying to administer, you know, um, disciplinary actions against, but... Treating you like a kid. It's like, yo, come on, get the fuck out of here with that dumb shit, man. You know what I'm saying? So it was like annoying mm -hmm. with the, as far as staff is concerned. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? But as far as just bidding, you know, it is, it's, the, it's pretty much the same. Okay, so what year you came home? Um, 2011. 2011. 2011, yeah. And um, been home since? Been home since. Well, uh, uh, no more trouble? Nah. On parole? For the most part, yeah. You now, I want to I wanna, I wanna, uh, um, be in that situation. As far as we talking about with the flat. So yeah. I, I challenged it, you know what I'm saying? I challenged it when I came home. Oh, so when you came home, you I had parole. It. Yeah. And you challenged it. I challenged it, right. I okay. challenged it under the grounds that we were talking about earlier. So yeah. I was like, yo, listen, you know. And then, you know, I had to bring the, um, the, the plea. I had to bring a copy of the plea, the sentencing minutes, and uh, the order commitment, and show through all of these documents that you guys never mm. mentioned any type of supervision. Mm. And during the time when they was giving you these different, um, you know, uh, uh, paperwork, it would have a box on there for the judge to check off. Mm -hmm. So they never checked off anything related to supervision. Okay. So it was like that's how I wind up getting that thrown out, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they, they wind up saying, yo, you know what, he's right. So, you know, um, whatever he got left, because I, I fought it for like maybe a year or a year and a half, while, you know, or, or after I came home. And then once I um, once I beat it, that was it. You was off. I was off. Uh, oh, that was cool. Yeah. Well, at least you came home and, was, and got... You know, you got with it. Right, right, right. Some guys just right. come home. They just, they just, yeah. they lazy. Just rather right. stay on parole. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? At least you took care of it and you yeah. got off that shit. So, what you been doing since? Um, well, since, since you've been home, like yeah, you know, since what I've you, been, I've you been, marry again or you got yeah, kids? Same, or? same wife. My same wife, man. Shout out to my wife, man. Wow, man. that's that's a blessing, she man. Did, that's probably yeah, she did the shout whole out, bed. Shout, shout out to your son. wife. Yeah. Keep it, keep it in a hundred, and it's very hard to get that. Facts, real so, hard. So, so you but you still with the same wisdom? Still with my same wife. Uh, and uh, um, and uh, um, and 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 since how long y'all been together? Uh, about twenty two years now. That's pretty cool, man. Twenty two years. So you got kids? Got one kid. You got one well, kid. When I came home, we had a kid. Well, wow, that was a so, blessing, man. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Well, I love that, man. So, I love that. That's yeah, a blessing. We've been rocking. That's cool, man. That's 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 what's up. Yeah. So what you been doing with yourself, man? Since you know been home uh, and all that, off parole, yeah, no yeah, baby sure, and everything. Sure. But you got a boy or girl? For sure, boy. Boy. I got a boy. Bro. Okay. So what's his name? Amir. Amir. Shout out Amir. to Amir. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, all right, that's Amir. what's up. Yeah. So um, 
I've been doing a lot, bro. Uh, I've been doing a lot. Talk to me. What um, you been doing? Tell me the good stuff that you've been doing, man. You know, you've been home. Stuff, you transition. know, been in trouble. You know, saying so you staying out of trouble right. and all so, that, and you focus. So the whole thing was about, you know, um, making a difference. Like I right, did all this time now. You know, that can't be the highlight. So it's like, what you gonna do? So during the time that I did the time, I was preparing for that moment. Mm. So I, boom, I came home, I dropped the book, um, Gorilla Khan. So, um, Gorilla Khan? Gorilla Khan, yeah, I did okay. that. Should have brought a copy, man, so yeah, we could, you know, show the people. I did Gorilla Khan. Then after that, I, um, I started dabbling into the music world. So I had, um, uh, uh, um, DJ K Slay hosted the soundtrack. Okay. To Gorilla Khan. Um, okay. So, um, shout out my brother K Slay. Shout out K Slay, the big bro. So, um, he did that. Then, um, I wound up getting on a, um, on, on, uh, his mixtape. Okay. So, um, uh, that was like the beginning of like, you know, I was on all his mixtapes from that point. Mm. So, boom, uh, uh, um, you know, that kind of like catapulted me out there. Um, I was in uh, Top 5 on sign, um, straight starting. Okay. Then uh, a little while after, because um, I was trying to like uh, show, you know, I got many talents. So when I came home, I was pretty much doing the book thing and the music thing simultaneously. Mm. So... Um, I had dropped the book, then I had dropped the, the soundtrack to the book, mm. then I was featured on K Slay's project, then I was dropping solo projects. Um, then I um, uh, uh, um, I wound it up uh, writing Puma's book from Black Ink Crew. Okay. So, um, well, that's a good I, thing. Yeah, yeah, I did that. I wrote Puma's book from Black Ink. And um, then uh, um, I did. Uh, uh, you know, some more features. I just, I just not too long ago did a um a joint with She Glue from the Locks. Okay. Um, I, I got you know a couple of joints with um, Sugar's, with Pat she, Pools. She was Yeah, I got I got a couple of joints with Pat Pools. You know, and then all of the people whom I was featured with on Slay's projects. Um, you know, I, I worked so with. So you been Mama. working? Yeah, I got a whole bunch of like. So what you been doing things. for money? All of that, I was, and, and on nine to five, as a, apart from that, I was doing cell towers. Mm. So you know, I was doing the, um, the cell tower thing. Um, I was also doing the um, uh, uh, technician work for Amazon. Oh, that's cool. Because um, uh, yeah, so you know, I've been just like just grinding, just grinding, grinding, and staying focused. Yeah, grinding, staying focused. Not looking just, back. No, no, no. No looking back. No looking man. back. No looking back. All the jail shit and all that is Word. gone, and Word. all that. That's a good thing, man. You know, like to, to to to, you did twelve years, man. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? And you came facts. home, you know, and, 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 and it's hard out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just stay focused and grounded. Right. So it's a good thing you got you got you can you got connected with the right people. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? As far as yeah. your music, as right. far as you writing books, you right. know what I'm saying that's all great stuff, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So so. We, we 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 love that. I right. love to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah. what this is about. We want to show. Facts. We want to show the you know the youth yeah. and all the brothers out there that they lost. You facts. know, show that you could come home and you could you could do the right thing if you really want to. Right. You know what I'm saying? You no, know, I, I always you know I always try to um, tell brothers in terms of the the experience mm -hmm. and the transition. It's like um, uh, 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 with the prison. Mm -hmm. So you know, prison is like. Um, is another form of religion. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, but instead of uh, um, being initiated into, uh, um, how you say, a, a, a main religion, whether it's Christianity or Islam, you're being, you're being initiated into slavery. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, I look at myself like, I right, you was initiated into that. Now, how do you make the transition into being free, you know what I'm saying? Because Facts. when you go up top, just like, you know, like in the in the realm of like let's say Santeria or something, boom, they, you know, they 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 um 
they make you dress all white for as initiation, and you go through this process, and then you go up the ranks. Yeah, Christianity, yeah. everything else. But now, in prison, you, you go through, uh, you know, uh, in Christianity, you go through communion and baptism. But in prison, it's the same principles. Right. So now, once you once you leave uh, Rikers or whatever your county jail is, right? Now, that's where you 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 become initiated. Right. You're a civilian up until that point. Now when you hit downstate or Elmira or whatever, boom. Now you get stripped butt naked. It's so over. You're another. It's over. They 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 shaving everything off. You taking a bath uh-huh. and then they're giving you your new uniform. Now you've been inducted into slavery. Here here, uh-huh. here it go. You know what I'm saying? Boom. So, you know, that was my mindset. So it's like now I you making this transition into the town, yo, what you gonna do with it? Mm. And, and you know how are you going? Really, you know, break free of them shackles mm. and, and 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 manifest yourself as a free man. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. So you know, and bring something and, and bring something to the world. Bring something to the world, right? Facts, of course. Right. You got a new C, right? You know what I'm saying? You know, all, all these all the things that you got to look at. You know, you can't just think for yourself anymore. Right. You got to think for your kids. Right. You know what I'm saying? You exactly. got your wife that's been there. wasn't right. e- It wasn't easy for her. She bit. She did the whole time with you. Right. You know, that shit ain't easy. I don't even see, I mean, you don't have, yeah. you might be probably number two. Right. You know what I'm saying? That came here and, and talked about their wife doing right. the bid and all that and standing right. with them. So, yeah. you know the circumstances when people yeah. go to jail, you yeah. lose everything. Yeah. Family, friends, That's even the ones you thought they was friends, homies and all that, all that shit is gone. Gone. Just like you said, they give you a whole new, whole new, you have identity, a whole new right? life, a whole new identity. Here you go. Boom. You know what yep. I'm saying? So, but um, I'm happy that you're home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, you know, we definitely uh, uh applaud that and and uh appreciate you being on the show. Right, appreciate you, know what I'm saying? you having me. Wow. Uh, um, I want to ask you: Do you think that is important? Do you think that we that we need that we is necessary that we need prison reform? Do you know what that, prison reform is? And what aspect? As as far as the jail system fixing the if it's corrupt or, you know, or how favoritism or anything that you may, you know, because prison is, is, is you know, is, uh, obviously you go there and it's hard right. to get out. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? But it's definitely, it's, it's, it's a deep topic. Right. It's a deep topic that's like a whole nother drawn out, you know what I'm saying, bill. Because, you know, how I look at it, I was just, you know, building with people about it recently. It was like, you know, Society right now, if you if you know if you paying attention and if you you know is is like able to look through the 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 motherfucking BS, mm-hmm. it's like um it's it, it's been reformed, but mm. according to how they want to reform it. Mm. So if you paying attention, what they doing is they are making it the what well, they they started from back then, but. They're changing, like um, like you look at New York and you look at the gentrification. How many of us went down, you know, during our time? And now that y'all gentrified it, like okay, Pat and Fris, you, we can't do that no more. Right now it's like marijuana is legal now, and so everything that we went down for, now you brought this whole new community in here mm. that that don't apply to. You mm. know what I'm saying? But on the flip side, also. They, you know, they're handing out the time, but you got individuals that um that is being introduced into the whole MHU or the mental health right. system. So now that's kind of what's taking place. And if you mm. look at the media and all that, mm. like you got these dudes that they show that's like spazzing on civilians, right? That might have done a little bit or something like that, but he was a bug out. He was he when you was, say that, that's what, that's a very important topic. Right. We we've been talking about a lot of mental health, how brothers right. go to prison and dudes need help. Right. You know, mental health is important. Right. They come home or either they go to jail fucked up and they come out even And they come out even more hell. fucked up. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's what they doing. Like if and in terms of the system. Mm. So, you know, you, you had you, you you had the um the whole prison thing and you got reform trying to take place there. But you also have the MHU, the mental health mm-hmm. inside of all these different facilities. Facts. So you know what they what they kind of doing now. If you if you look through the you know what I'm saying read between the cracks, 
So you got all these guys that they putting on the news, right? That got mental health issues, right? And you know they did like knocking out people random or cutting them or stabbing them. I know we're running up on somebody, right? So now you know what's why was they already got mental health inside of the facilities. So now they just never got dealt with. They never got dealt with. So you know what 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 looked like what appears to be taking place is like I right, now you're gonna start sentencing guys according to mental health guidelines. Mm. Cause, oh, this dude is a bug out. Now, right. oh, you go to mental health, so now you got the psych that will have to tell them if he's eligible to come home. Because they, they're paving the way for that, and they keep feeding you all of these mental health guys on mm-hmm. purpose. But at the same time that they're feeding you the mental health guys, you're going through the whole prison reform and all of that. So they're making all of these regular issues, mental health issues mm. Oh, this guy should have been taken care of because he's, a long time ago. he's that type of individual, right? right? A long time ago. But now you're going to wind up getting the regular guys caught up in these mental health issues. Right. You know what I'm saying? Without, we're, 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 we're having to see a psych yeah. in order to come home now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like... It's, without, it's, without really getting that professional help right. and all that. So it's crazy. So right it's now. important, man, that, we, that, important. That, 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 that some sort of mental health you know, program is, is, is in... You know, because the jail yeah. system, you know the vibe. They right. give you a pill and keep it moving. That's it. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's it. That's it. it. Here you go two, keep two, three pushing. pills. Next thing you know, you see, you see the same homie running around right. picking up cigarette butts, right. right? Or stuck. Or stuck. He's stuck. Looking at, yeah. I don't know what the hell. Yeah, he's stuck. You know, and it's sad. It is. You sad. know what I'm saying? Facts. And uh, yeah, man. But um, I want to uh, you know, that's that's because th- this is what we we want to start. You know, right. trying to. We, we we trying to get to the point where we can help some of these you know these brothers right, that come right. home because right. a lot of brothers fucked up. A lot of brothers don't come come home. They don't have a wife. Right. They don't have they don't have a brother. They don't have a sister. They don't have nobody. They come home. They don't know how to take the train. They lost. They been. They just letting them go. Thirty years. Here right. you go. Hit the brakes. Right. You know figure what I'm saying. And you really fucked up in your mind. Right. You got. You know what I'm out. saying. You might not think. You know what I'm saying. But you right. need some help. Some kind of guidance. Do, and some, yeah, because do. if not, you get lost into the right. system again. You know what I'm saying? So we trying to prevent that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We trying to get to the point where we could enlighten brothers, especially those out there, you know, the young brothers out there that down, you know, with all that type of gangs and not respecting each other. And right, right. Not abiding by the rules and right. being all reckless and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. And all that. But with that being said, young man, I want to thank you, man, for coming, man. Oh, you know man, what I'm saying? It was definitely an honor, me, man, to have you on my show, man. Thanks, man. You know what I'm saying? Me, and man. all I can say, man, keep doing your thing, man. And yeah. give me 12 bars, man, because I know that you're super nice. You know what I'm saying? They told me about it. You know what I'm saying? So do your thing and all that. You're definitely going to be on that dog in the yard mixtape. We got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, man. Uh, man, let me see, man. Let's Everybody get know, it. It's your boy, William Young, man. Um, dog in the yard. Sure. Dog in the yard, man. Um, let me see. Let me see. Um, warning. 21 will rap you up. Mm. Hip hop is dead, I am the rescuer. If that man wanted, he'll lay in a rat sewer. Red ink on his back, like guys a tattooer. Homie, you ring a doorbell. And listen to your whore yell, cause I'm filling the man up with more shells. Any resistance, I'm dragging them both out. Mm. Little body smothered inside of the boat house. Homie, I'm getting money, what the hell are you doing? Why waste time trying? Ah. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. What you do, we man. We here, though, man. That's we what here. we do, man. That's what it is, man. Do, Yo, man. shout out to Young Man. <laughs> Appreciate all the love. You already know. It's your boy, Pistol. Yeah, Dog yeah. Dog in the fucking yard. Get at me, man. All right. Let's get it. Welcome back to that Dog in the Yard with your boy, Pistol. I want to thank, first and foremost, man, the guard, Young, for coming through. Um, like I said, man, you know, when you go to prison, you know, and you down with a gang or you down with any any belief that you believe in, that's gonna take a it's gonna play it's gonna play a big major part in your first day in prison. Not only your first day, but your first, second, third, your whole time in prison. You know what I'm saying? So just always keep that in mind. That whoever you down with and all that, you it, nothing you can really change when you're in prison. Unless you decide you wanna you wanna throw the kite, you know, you wanna throw that red that 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 white flag and be like, hey, by the way, I want to go to PC or I can't live here. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, I want to, you know, thank Young for, you know, coming through and breaking the story down What he had. He was a God body and he was fighting the bloods and he was breaking it down how it's easy to be in trouble and 
you know, one year could turn into 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Um, and also, you know, he broke down that whole, you know, experience, you know, him having a shootout, you know, a major shootout in Brooklyn with detectives and the police, the blue and whites. You know what I'm saying? You know, thank God he was able to come off that. He got 12 years flat. They, they didn't kill him. So, you know, he was here today. He was able to, you know, to share that story with us. Now he out here doing his thing. He's an upcoming artist, you know, and I'm happy for him, man. Listen, man, all success. Thank you for coming through. I see that you out here, you know, you're doing your thing. And uh, keep doing your thing, man. Don't give up, man. Believe in your dreams. You already know. It's your boy, Pistol. Dog in the yard, man. <laughs> Young. Peace, God. Stars all in my rings. She don't move unless it's bands, but the oldest ain't no.